have a child. Yeah. That even when the man of God asked her, is there anything that we can do for you? She did not disclose that. It was too close to her. It was so much that she needed. It was so much that, no, I can't even hope by even uttering it out of my mouth. So she said, no, I'm okay. I live among my king's folks. I'm okay. I have enough money. I can, I can live. Bless the name of the Lord. And then they perceived that, guess what? She needs a child. And when they called her and they told her in my own words, the woman of God, look at the man of God. And she said, look here, man of God. Look here. Don't bother with me. I was okay. I was all right. You asked me what I want and I told you I don't want nothing. So look here. Now come, come build up my hopes now. Don't come tell me about something that you know can't happen because look here. That has been my heart's desire for so long. And suddenly you're telling me that it is within my grasp. Be careful, man of God. He said, next year, this time. And as he said, it was done. And she had this child. Glory to God. And suddenly this child is getting. <laughs> Hallelujah. The thing that you have you wanted most, God has granted unto you, but it is taken from your grasp. Bless the name of the Lord. Some of us would throw a hand on our head and stand plan for a long time. Ah, bless the name of the Lord. Inconsolable. Yes. Bless God. But she decided, she said, look here. I never asked for this child and I got right. him. Yes. So I'm going to go to the source. Bless the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. And so she put the child on the prophet's bed. Bless the name of the Lord. And she went back out to her, her, her husband. And she called him and she said, could you call the lad? Let them saddle up the ass. And her husband is saying, oh, wrong. It is not a Sabbath day. It is not noon day. Where are you going for us? Where are you go? What kind of journey are you going to take? Bless the name of the Lord. But she had a place that she had yeah. to be. Yeah. There was an urgency to the yeah. situation. Yeah. She didn't want any doubters along with her. Bless yeah. the name of the Lord. Yeah. And so she didn't even tell her husband what was happening. Glory to God. And she got, the, got on the ass and she went about her business. And Elijah saw her before she got to them. Hallelujah. And he sent his servant Gehazi to meet her. And when Gehazi went to her, glory to God. She more or less in my own words, I'm not talking to you. You, you never gave me anything. I'm going to the source. Come out of my way. I want to go to the man of God. Bless the name of the Lord. And he's trying to restrain her from getting to the prophet. But she said, look here. You better come out of my way. Hallelujah. Get, ah, bless the name of the Lord. Elijah saw what was happening. Nina. And he said to Gehazi, leave her alone, leave her alone. You know, said, oh man, angry. <laughs> Don't you see that she's perturbed in her spirit? Something wrong here. Leave her alone. Let me attend to her. Bless the name of the Lord. And she went into the man of God and she spoke to him. Bless God. Hallelujah. And as she spoke to him, he sent Gehazi. <laughs> but Gehazi wasn't able to do anything. Bless the name of the Lord. Jesus sometimes has to step in himself. Yes, Bless yes. the name of the Lord. He has to be the one to step into our circumstances. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. He has to come. Hallelujah. And when he comes, hallelujah, then demons will have to flee. Amen. Death will have yes. to flee. Amen. It doesn't Amen. matter what is happening. It will have to take a back seat. Hallelujah. When That's Jesus right. steps yes. out, hallelujah. when Jesus shows up, yes. bless the name of the Lord God Almighty. And in this case, Elijah was standing in the place of Jesus for this woman. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And as they went back, hallelujah, he went up to the room. I know the husband of know what is happening bless God but the woman all she knows is that she wants her son I want my son <laughs> bless the name of the Lord we need to know how to touch God we need to know how to reach God bless the name of the Lord nothing can stand in the way of a praying man or woman boy or girl because prayer changes things. Amen. Prayer moves the hands of God. And it said that nothing leaves heaven until something leaves earth. And what is going to leave earth is our prayer and our worship. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. And when those things are in place, then anything can happen. Bless God. Demons will just have to stand aside and look. Ah, uh, bless the name of the Lord. Because when God get ready, bless the name of the Lord, you got to move. It doesn't matter who you are. If 
you're big, if you're bad, if you're whole or if you're young, you got to move and God get ready. Bless the name of the Lord. Ah, the word of God tells us that in Daniel, bless the name of the Lord. And we all know the story end that the, the man of God went up there and he prayed for the child and the child received his life. Received the back. His life came back into his body. He presented him to his mother. Bless the name of the Lord. We read in the book yes. of Daniel, when Daniel prayed, Daniel went before God. We're talking about prayer. Yes, Daniel yes. went before God and he prayed. Mm. Hallelujah. Even when he was not supposed to pray, but he prayed. Mm. Bless the name of the Lord because he's a man of prayer. Mm. Bless God. And as Daniel prayed, hallelujah, and he was there waiting on an answer, but he's not receiving an answer. And he continued to pray for 21 days. And when the 21 days were done, bless God. The angel showed up and he said to him, Daniel, your prayers were heard from the first day. And God dispatched the answer to your prayer. Persistence again, you know, bless God. You can you imagine you've been praying about something that you need, that you are desiring for so long. The first day you prayed, it was released to you. But because you give up, guess what? You don't get it. Bless the name of the Lord. So we need to persist. We need to know God that we don't give up. Bless the name of the Lord. And so Daniel persisted for 21 days and still praying. And the angel came. He said, but look here, I can't stay long. I can't talk to you long. Because I have to go back and assist the other angel that came to assist me. Because a war has been raged up there. Bless the name of the Lord. And I'm saying that to us, to the people of God. Let us be aware. When we pray, the devil is not going to release the yeah. things like that. Even when God says, yes, the devil is going to stand and try to block it. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But delay is not denial with Jesus Christ. If God says yes, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Then it must come through. Bless the name of the Lord. Because he's not a man that he should lie on. A son of man that he should repent. And so whatever God desires, whatever God wills, it is going to happen. Bless the name of the Lord. And so Daniel's prayer was answered. I was in a similar situation years ago. I wasn't feeling so well. I was I never had any money. I think I was on holiday from Bible school or something. And uh, I remember that I said to God, I said, God, I don't have no money. My mother don't have any money. There's no food in the house. Lord, I just come out of the hospital. And I'm like, Lord, you need to send some help. And I was praying to God. I went somewhere when I came back I saw this miss call on my phone there was a voicemail but I couldn't recognize the person's voice it was like somebody from overseas but I just couldn't recognize the voice so my cousin the same uh, my cousin we went to Bible school together I said to her will you listen to this for me because I'm not recognizing this person's voice and she listened and she said oh this is brother Ted this was another person who we went to Bible school with but he's not living in England I had not spoken to him since he went away. I hadn't seen him either. So he was actually in Jamaica like a week before, but because I was in the hospital, I never saw him. She saw him. So she said, that's Brother Ted. I'm like, okay, so you understand what he's saying? She said, yes, he's saying that he, he needs to get in touch with you, blah, blah, whatever. And I'm like, okay, all right, I guess he'll call back. Um, he called back again. When he called back, I, answered, I got the call this day. And... Uh, he said to me, for the past week or two weeks, every time I close my eyes, I see you before me. He said, I don't know what is happening or what is going on with you, but God will not allow me to rest. He just keeps on putting you before my face. You know, and he said to me, I don't know, as I said, I don't know what is happening with you, but next weekend I'm going to send you some money. I said, okay, thank you very much. The weekend came. When he was supposed to send them, before that, he said to me, uh, he said to somebody, because I could hear it in, in the background, and he said, honey, how much should, should I send her? And she said, 50 pounds. And he said, no, I'm sending her 100 pounds. And he's like, the person said something, and I said, no, I'm sending her 100 pounds. And he said, okay, I'm sending you 100 pounds next weekend. The weekend came, and when the weekend came, he called, he didn't call, his wife called me, 
she was also in Bible school with us too. His wife called me and she said, uh, take this number, the money came, the hundred pounds came. That was the Friday. The Sunday would have been Mother's Day. I have nothing in the house. There's no food. There's no money, nothing at all. And the money came that Friday, bless God. When the call came in Rev, I got the call and I couldn't move. I was so sick. I could not move. I could not get up. I couldn't get dressed to go pick up the money even though we needed that money. And I said, thank you so much, blah, blah, and all of that. And I lay back down in the bed. Just couldn't move. The next morning came, I still was feeling sick, but I said, look here, the money come and I need it and I'm going out today. I said, God, you have to give me the strength to go get it because we need it and I would love to buy something for my mom for Mother's Day. And I got dressed. I took a, a cooking oil bottle because I was going to buy retail cooking oil at the supermarket. I took a cooking oil bottle with me and I left and I went to Junction. Uh, I went into this place, the first place that they would have done money transfer. I went in there and I got in the line. And I'm standing there in the line. And while I'm standing in the line, I said to the lady before me and the one behind me, I said, please, if I'm falling or if I'm resting on you, forgive me. I'm not feeling so well. And I stood there. And while I'm standing there in the line, I'm kind of bending over because I'm having pain. And uh, somebody left back and they said, um, <laughs> they don't have any money. <laughs> You don't have any money, and I'm like, what? What do you mean you don't have any money? So now I have to walk all the way up to another place up the top. I came out of the line and I walked up there. When I got up to the pharmacy, there is a sign at the door saying Western Union, they have no money. I saw the sign, but I disregarded it. I walked inside and I walked yeah. up to the teller and I said, I saw a sign out there. Is it true? She said, yes, we do not have any money. <laughs> I'm like, God, what is this? I cannot go to Mandeville. I don't have enough money to go to Mandeville. Bless the name of the Lord. Just enough to go to Junction to pick this money up. And I decided, I said, you know what? I'm going back down to the first place. I don't know, even know why. But I said, I'm going back down to that first place. When I went down there and I stood in the line this time, they said, if you are collecting $5,000 or under, then it's okay, you can stand in the line. I was supposed to collect $11,000 at that time. I said, God, guess what? I am collecting $11,000 yeah, and yeah. I'm not coming out of this line yeah. because I can't go no further. I said, God, you send the money, come give me. I said, devil, guess what? I'm getting this money today because this yeah. is not yours. Yeah. You're not going to stop me from receiving it today. I'm going to talk to him in the line. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm standing there. I'm not turning back this time. And some persons were ahead of me and they went up and then I went to the, to the cashier. And I just give her my paper, blah, blah, whatever. And I came out with my $11,000. Yeah. Bless yeah. the name of the Lord. Yeah. And I'm giving God praise and I'm saying, devil, you are such a liar. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. And I brought this out. Why? Because to the time when I started to pray and the time when I got the money was exactly 21 days. 21 days. So even when I was crying out to God for help, he was already placing it on somebody's heart. But on the 21 day, I got it because I was persistent enough to stand in line and say, look here, I don't care if you need not give out or whatever, but I am going to get my money today. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm saying to us today, believers, that God honors our persistence. He honors our persistence. And if we don't give up, he will not give up. Bless the name of the Lord. When Abraham interceded for Sodom and Gomorrah, I believe that Abraham, if Abraham had continued to go law, then God would have still stood with him. He would have still honored what he said. But Abraham stopped. And it was when Abraham stopped that God left. Because God came to have the conversation with Abraham. And it wasn't until Abraham stopped Asking God to go low, that God left out of Abraham's presence. Bless the name of the Lord. We have not because we ask not. Or because we ask amiss. To consume it upon our own loss, says James. Bless God. 
But let us ask in faith, believing, glory to God, so that we can honor God, so that we can bless somebody else, so that we can bring glory to the King of Kings. Bless the name of the Lord. And as our motives are pure, then God will show up for us. Because can I tell you today that God looks on our motives? He looks on our motives. So if our motive is to do good, God is going to show up. If the motive is to do wrong, we are not going to get any answer to that prayer. Or it will not be favorable. Because there are times when God doesn't answer. There are times when God is silent. Do you wonder, God? Where are you, God? Where are you? You said in your words, this and you said in your words that, but God, I'm, I'm still here, but I'm not hearing you, God. I'm not seeing you in all of this, God. Where are you, Lord? Hallelujah. He's just silent. He's yeah. still waiting on us. Yeah. Still waiting to see what we are going to do if when, because he's silent, if we're going to turn another way, are we going to still believe him? Are we still going to trust him? Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Prayer is powerful. Amen. Prayer is powerful. Smith Wigglesworth was a man of prayer. Every time, every second that he got, he prayed. He said, I don't pray very long. I don't pray for probably more than half an hour. But I don't pray uh, if an half an hour doesn't come and I don't pray. So even though I don't pray, pray, pray long, I pray as often as possible. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. So it is not just the long prayers. Yes, when we are interceding, yes, we got to go and we go all over the world. Because we are interceding as the Spirit is using us. Glory to God. But it doesn't have to be long. Bless God. Yeah. God answers short, short prayers as long as it is sincere. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. Petitions are made unto him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are sometimes it is just a petition we are making. We are standing in the gap sometimes to somebody else. Bless the name of the Lord. Sometimes it is something where we are asking for ourselves. Bless the name of the Lord. There is no right posture. There is no wrong posture in praying. Bless the name of the Lord. You can pray standing, sitting, kneeling. Whatever position we want to be in. It doesn't matter. It is the heart's condition that matters to God. Bless the name of the Lord. We don't have to be at a specific place to pray. We can pray anywhere. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is omnipotent, omniscient. Ah, glory to God. You just whisper in your hands. He already knows our hearts and your heart. Bless the name of the Lord God. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God today. I am grateful that I could have been here today. Hallelujah. I, I go back home next week and uh, we normally have prayer in January too. But because I'm aware we're going to have it in, in, um, in February. So I go home into prayer and fasting too. Bless the name of the Lord. So I have that to look forward to. But I'm so grateful that I could come. And Pastor, I want to thank you for opening your pulpit to me today. That I could stand to share with your people. Bless the name of the Lord. I am indeed privileged. And it is an honor. And as I, I always tell people, I said, look here. I do not take it for granted to stand before people of God. Because God loves people. Amen. God loves people. And so when you stand before the people of God, it's not about you. It's all about God. It's all about Him. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And so as we extol His name together, as we lift Him up on high, as we glorify Him, because wherever He hears His name, He's going to come. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Just as when somebody calls you, you come. You hear your name and you come. When we call upon him, he comes. When we call his name, when we worship him, he comes. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so as we come into the house of God, as we begin to sing in sacrifices of praise, as we begin to honor our bring adoration to him, we bring him in our midst. Bless God. And when he comes, he's there to do good. When he comes, he's there to set somebody free. 
He's there to deliver somebody. He's there to heal somebody. Amen. But if there's not expectation, the manifestations cannot come forth. And so as long as we are expecting of God, then the Holy Spirit will manifest. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. So people of God today, be encouraged as you continue to trust God. As you continue to pray the prayer of faith that will heal the sick. Hallelujah. The prayer of faith. Hallelujah. Will heal the sick among us. It will heal us ourselves. Bless God. And as we believe God and trust God, God can't do anything else but to show up. Hallelujah. And he wants to put his people on display. Bless the name of the Lord. We who were nothing. We who were nobody. We who when we were out in the world nobody saw us. Because we were dirty and messy. All oh, glory to God. But God has saved us. And he has not just saved us and put us down to sit. Hallelujah. I heard pastor speak about it too since I came. Every person has a work to do. Bless yeah, God. Amen. You might not be the preacher. You might not be the teacher. But there's a work that you can do. There is something that you specialize in. You were chosen to bring forth fruit. You were chosen to magnify your God. You were chosen to be a blessing. You were chosen by the Most High God. Hallelujah. When I look in the natural, hallelujah, many of us would be overlooked. We cannot enter the president. Can't go to the president's residence. No, we can't do that. I don't care probably how we want to write and all of that. There are many security and all of that you'll have to go through. It probably never happened in this lifetime. Bless God. Many persons would never see us. They wouldn't think us capable. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. But look at the King of Kings. Look at the Lord of Lords. The conquering line of the tribe of Judah. He who knew us. Yet still glory to God. We are able to go into his presence at any time. Bless the name of the Lord. Our oh, glory to God. That is an, uh, an awesome wonder today. Bless the name of the Lord. So even when others are despising us. Even when others are rejecting us. But God came and he accepted us. He bought us. He redeemed us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And so we are here at this time to give God praise. To honor Him. To worship Him. To glorify Him. And to magnify His name. Because He's awesome and He's worthy to be praised. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Holy Spirit, glory to God, is our teacher and he's our guide. And this year, glory to God, 2017, God is transitioning you. Bless God. God is transitioning you. Bless God. The caterpillar, before it becomes a beautiful butterfly, it's in a cocoon. Hallelujah. But there comes a certain stage in that caterpillar's life where it's time now for the final transition to transition into what it was created to be in the beginning. Bless the name of the Lord. There are many persons who have been going through. Hallelujah. I've been fighting. Glory to God. Left, right, and center. Things just not seem to be gelling together. Not coming together as it ought to. But glory to God. Even as you look at the story with the caterpillar. And it is now time. Because God is a God of timing. And it is now time for the transition. And as that caterpillar in that cocoon about to come forth. And if somebody well thinking... Hallelujah. And goes and said, Oh, I, I, I want to help. Bless God. But we have to know when to help and when to stand still. Bless the name of the Lord. We have to know when to help and when to stand still. And so at that time, glory to God, at that crucial time, that caterpillar is about to, to transition, is about to become what it was created to be. 
And if somebody is trying to help goals and cut that caterpillar out of that cocoon, that will damage that butterfly for the rest of his life. It will not be able to fly. Why? Because in coming out of the cocoon, in fighting to burst out of the cocoon by itself, it developed its wings. Yes. It strengthens its wings. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so it's able to burst forth and it comes forth strong and beautiful and it soars away into the sky. Bless God. There are some fights, some struggles that you're going through. You must go through it. You can't amen. stop where you are. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. You have to come to the end. Bless God. So that you can transition into the next level. Yes. Bless the name yes. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. So the struggles that you're going through, sometimes you say it's the devil. Can I tell us sometimes it is not the devil, but it's God himself. Yes. Oh, glory yes. to God. He's, yes. he, he is building character in us. Yes. It is God that he is he's birthing something within us. Glory to God. Amen. And for that yeah. thing to be birthed within us, we must go through, hallelujah, hallelujah. the struggles yeah. that at times yeah. seem not to be able to end. The struggles at times that seem to overwhelm us. Glory to God. That we feel like we just want to quit. I just want to give up. I can't take anymore. Ah, bless the name of the Lord. But when it gets worse, yeah. guess what? It always gets worse before yes. it gets better. Yes. I said it gets worse yes. before, it's get, before it gets better. Is it bad now? That's okay. Go through. Go through. It's getting better. The way up is down. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I said the way up is down. Yes, amen. So it might seem as if you're not progressing because of where you are. But know today, glory to God, that God is working out his purpose. Amen. He's creating a better you. Hallelujah. He's taking you somewhere. Bless the name of the Lord. He's bringing you to an expected end. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the name hallelujah. of the Lord. And as I said to this lady this morning, and she said to me, uh, you could, I want you to say it publicly, but what I could remember is that uh, there are times uh, that whatever is happening in her, in her life, God is not going to just remove it one time. Amen. But he's going to do it step by step. Thank you, Jesus. Brick by brick. Because there are lessons to learn. Every step we make, there are lessons to be learned. And so he cannot allow us to just go just like that. And so as he said to the Israelites, I am going to send them away from you, bit by bit. I'm going to remove your enemies, bit by bit. He could have removed them all at once. But then they would not have learned their lessons. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God, praise God. And so let us learn the ways of God. And let us know where we are. So that we can understand what God is doing. We will hear his voice because his voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he relieves our troubled minds. It's the only voice we hear that makes a difference. May he help us to follow him one day at a time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He never said that there wouldn't be sorrows. He never said that everything would be alright. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Once some writer said, life is easy when you're up on the mountain. Oh, hallelujah. But what about when your faith is put to the test? He's still God. In the mountain, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, allow him to make it right. There are times when we try to fix it and we mess it up. Let God fix it. Hallelujah. I said, let him fix it. Yes. <laughs> he yes. knows just what to do. Yes. But when we try to help him, we mess it up. So let him fix it for us. Continue to pray. Continue to seek God. Continue to listen to the servant of God. Because when you 